Since the beginning of the Dead Space media, most have often speculated on the topic of Nicole's final resting place aboard the USG Ishimura, of where she had actually died, with sources that say that she had died in one place, others stating another place. However, in this video, we will be going through the retcons of this topic, the rewritten law, and explaining where most go wrong in this discussion. In the beginning scene of Dead Space, there is a video log of Nicole, with this being the main point of discussion in the topic of her last location, her final destination. In the video log, we can see some shelves and a window covered by some blinders. This room is the first we find after going through the hallway and meeting one of the crew suffering from a splitting headache. Going through the adjacent door and looking to the left of the bench, we come to the original location that Nicole had perished in, it would seem. With the video log being shown to be a key piece of evidence in this case, with people still using the log and the room as a key connection with the discussion today. Dead Space had been released in October 2008, being the third installment of the franchise, with the Dead Space comics being the first and No Known Survivors being the second piece of media that came before. In the last act of Dead Space Downfall, Alyssa Vincent and her team had arrived to save the personnel trapped in the lower levels by the necromorphs in the bridge's private quarters. However, as Samuel Irons distracted the slashers, the other two escorted the civilians away until Vincent sees a character that is implied to be Nicole, with Alyssa asking the blonde woman if she had a boyfriend, with her nodding. She is also wearing a medical officer's uniform, however due to the film being made with bits and pieces of information and character designs, she has a very different look to Nicole's hairstyle. Regardless, this is meant to be Nicole, however for Nicole to be here this late into the events, she wouldn't have been able to be present in the medical deck by the time the transmission had been sent to Isaac, which causes some issues in the timeline. However, we don't see her die in the film, but was an appearance nonetheless. Dead Space Downfall came out in October of 2008, two weeks after the release of the first game. Possessing the name of the Wii first person on the rails shooter, Dead Space Extraction, this is the comic that shows what happens to Nicole after the team of four leaves the medical deck for the engineering deck to help the security teams. In the comic, it is shown that Nicole is going through Lexine's scan in the security hub, just shy of the tram waiting station, when she gets a call from one of her colleagues in the second sick bay. In the interest of time, Necromorphs eventually find the security officer and Nicole in the open, smashing through the ceiling vents. Hence why there is a massive hole in the ceiling of this area in chapter 2 and 5 of Dead Space. Nicole would find herself in complete retreat, and so she runs to the second sick bay. However, here is the thing. Most people often think that the imaging diagnostics area is the sick bay, but it is in fact behind it and below the zero G therapy room. In the comic, Nicole stays in the sick bays and doesn't leave the patient's side until the necromorphs break through and she loses all hope, where she enters a nearby room with the comic ending with the beginning of her last transmission to Isaac. So here is the most recent showing of where Nicole had perished, which retcons the original location of her death. There is a notable mention of reference some like to bring up with Dead Space 2, with the video log being present in Mercer's laboratory. However, this isn't evidence to suggest she died here. This is just a reference to Isaac's pain and trauma. Dead Space Extraction Nicole comic came out in January of 2009. Apologies for the rather short video this week, but do not fear, 
I am working on something that will keep you occupied up to the release of the Callisto Protocol. I'll give you a hint. It's something that some of you have been asking for, a director's cut. However, it's not the one you are thinking of. In conclusion to this video, Nicole dies in Sick Bay 2, nowhere else. Perhaps the developers and writers felt that they needed to set the record straight with Downfall, making a mess of Nicole's fate that ultimately contradicts her timeline, much like Downfall vs Extraction with the captain's death. Maybe in the future, I will go through the various rewrites to the story. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, then hit the like button. Comment what your thoughts are below and I look forward to hearing from you. Sign up to join the British Alliance today by hitting that subscribe button and ring in the notification bell to receive more updates to the channel. Special thanks to the members of this channel for going the extra mile for this community. I deeply appreciate it. And if you would like to join the members guild, then hit the join button and take a peek at what you fancy. And I will see all of you among the cosmos and be sure to have a good one.